All right, guys, welcome back. It's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. All right, guys, so today's video is going to be a very interesting uh, video um, about kind of items that I buy. And this uh, was a random buy at a local card shop here in um, uh, Olympia area, uh, Lacey, actually, Washington. And it's uh, Gabby's Cards and Comics um, out of um, Lacey. They have a really great selection of old comic figurines and comics and, um, and Magic the Gathering and... You know, it's, it's a great little shop. If you guys ever go to that area, it's a very cool LGS store. But uh, yeah, they carry, um, you know, singles from every type of format just about. Uh, not a lot of power, but uh, maybe they have some if you ask, but I didn't really ask them for that. Um, but they recently acquired a random collection of some of these uh, old school magic cards. Um, these are all betas. And I think there's a few alphas here. But I thought I'd just show you guys some of the things that I pick up once in a while. And uh, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. So I'll start with this Icy Manipulator. Um, this is a really cool card. I picked this up for about a hundred bucks. Uh, mint condition, uh, really clean. Uh, this card has seen a lot of play in old school because people wanna you know, uh, use it for their, uh, their uh, Winter Orb, Relic Barrier, Icy Manipulator decks. Um, really good in general as a utility card. Um, it's hard to imagine back in the day it was four mana and uh, one to use the effect. Nowadays these kind of cards are obviously a lot more powerful and less mana costs. But um, very cool card back in the day. And uh, yeah, I just have these, you know, random cards like Iron Tree, Iron uh, Root Tree Folk. I really like this card. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of play, but it is actually the first Magic the Gathering card ever made uh, by Jesper Mirforce. So that was the first artwork ever created for Magic. Um, then you have the Merfolks. Always fun to see those. Merfolk decks are, you know, kind of a nice tribal deck. This is the original OG, original gangster. That's what I call it, card. Um, if you combine this with Lord of Atlantis, it becomes a really powerful effect. And then you got some really cool things like, I mean, here's this 50 cent pile, but you know, these are more play. The other ones are more mint, but Creature Bond, Mons, Goblin, and Raider, Raiders. You know, really, guys, these are, um, these are just kind of the nice little finds you find. You know, this tunnel is uh, uncommon, by the way. HP for sure, condition, heavily played, but... Always nice to add on to the inventory. Um, but yeah, these kind of cards, like ben Banalish Hero, you know, banding. I mean, that's a weird effect, but I just like these weird, quirky cards, these old cards that started the game, and uh, it's really interesting. And uh, here's Flight. <laughs> no one ever uses Flight. Uh, but uh, maybe maybe it's a thing one day. If you put a Vidruvin Enchantress deck, that could be a nice little effect because... The Driven Enchantress. Uh, it's a green card. allows you to draw a card every time you cast um, an enchantment. And so, yeah, this this card shop has some really cool little um, you know cards here, including you know I I don't think people really like the wards. Um, I like the wards because if you think about it, like white ward, uh, target player uh, creature gains protection from white for only one white mana. Now. It, it's interesting because there isn't much enchantment removal in this game other than uh, disenchant. Now you can counter it. Uh, you can kill the creature that's associated to or if it, uh, artifacts enchanted. But if you think about it, you know, enchantments are pretty darn powerful in some way if you can hold them together. Um, and what's good about White Ward is, you know, if people try to swords that creature that you're... Uh, you know, you're trying to hold on to play. Um, it gains protection from that. Really, really nice. Uh, Wall of Wood doesn't see a lot of love, but I like Wall of Wood. Who doesn't like wood? That's what she said. All right, so uh, here's some uncommons, or Stone Giant. Uh, Lance doesn't see a lot of play at all. Another enchant creature type of effect. I like that card. Um... 
a really good illustration by Rob Alexander. Really nice. Gains first strike. First strike ability is actually really powerful for old school, I think. Um, very effective type of... If you have creatures like Thunder Spirit or um, White Knight has first strike, Black Knight, those are really powerful effects, especially in early game. Oh, basic lands. I mean, there's a basic land here. Uh, HP condition, but an original beta, four bucks. I thought that was a good little buy because people like basic lands. And then you got like some interesting cards. Like you got like Paralyze. The mono black cards are gone, going up like crazy. Paralyzer is an effect that really does wonders for, um, you know, trying to control players um, with various creatures. Um, and this one is interesting because this one forces that player to pay four mana to basically untap it. Pretty damn cool. Another ward, another uncommon. Um, again, guys, I told you guys before, I think uncommons for alpha and beta are extremely undervalued. Uh, they're going to keep growing in price, a great investment long term. Um, some of them are actually reserve list. I'm not sure how many, uh, actually, you know what? Some of them may not, some of them might be in reserve list, some of them may not. I have to actually look. Uh, maybe actually none of them are reserve list because they're all uncommon, sorry. But um, what's cool about them is they are uh, the original print, and I think that's really fascinating, and I like that as an investment. People say the wards really suck. I like it. All right, so here's this disintegrate card. It's actually seeing a lot of play in old school. Um, it's a sorcery speed, and it does a lot of damage. It can be a good game ender, effectively, and uh, it's pretty pretty cool. Kind of like a fireball, in effect. Uh, just can't split it up, I don't think. Yep, can't split it up. And that's that one. Um, another card that's interesting I really like is this card. Dwarven Demolition Team. I've always liked this card. You know, the effect, tap to destroy another wall, to destroy a wall. Walls are really not a use in old school. Um, hasn't been effective because they can't really attack because they have that defender um, effect. That's a modern day uh, way to say it, but they can't attack unless you animate wall it. But I like this card because the artwork is really neat. Um, I love Kev Brockschmidt's style. It's very comic booky. Um, there's a couple cool cards. Another wall of bone regenerates. That's really cool. Thicket Basilisk. Now this card is very interesting. This card sees some decent play. Um, with Cockatrice, it has some great effects where uh, basically it can destroy creatures um, if it just blocks. So in a way, it, it really hinders. It, it can you know trade with a lot of different creatures pretty quickly, especially the big baddies, even though it's only a 2-4. Uh, you can also you know, pump it up also. It's pretty cool. Wall of Stone, this, again, walls don't see a lot of play, but look at this, 0-8. God damn, 0-8 is an incredible. Dude, if you put 0-8 and also, like, Flight on this, uh, it could be an incredible defender. I mean, even Shivan Dragon's going to have a hard time. And here we go, you have uh, Tunnel, Tunnel Alpha, only a few, one of the few Alphas on this edition. Really cool card, I like this, the Tunnel. That's an uncommon. Another alpha here is Life Tap. I think this card sees some play. You gain one life each time any force of opponents becomes tapped. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not the most used card, depending on the meta game of your group, but pretty cool card. So what else we got? Okay, this card is interesting. Holy Armor. I have incredible amounts of this card. I don't know. I. I checked the other day on my supply, but I literally think I, I think it was almost like 500 something copies of just beta edition ones. Um, it, it's incredible. I don't even know what happened there. I must have hoarded them or just bought a ton of them, but I don't know. This card, if it ever goes up in value, I, I have in incredible amounts. I probably have more than that, but just from the pile that I saw. All right. And I thought I'd show this card. This card's pretty cool. Samite Healer. 
Another cool card. This card prevents one damage to any target to, if you tap it. Um, has a kind of an opposite Tim effect. Um, Tim is the prodigal sorcerer, which is over here, this guy, where tap to do one damage to any target. Pretty interesting. So in a way, this one does damage, the other one does uh, protection. Oh, here's another couple, couple cool cards. Prodigal or uh, Twiddle. This one is really useful uh, with uh, Time Vault. You can untap it. You can also use it for the Stasis deck uh, type of uh, effect. It's really cool. Um, it has a lot of utility, definitely. It's instant speed, which is really cool. This card here, Stone Giant, I don't I haven't seen this card used very often. It is an uncommon yeah, not really. This is very interesting. Look at this. This is the most interesting like artwork with what it does. Tap to make one of your own creatures flying until the end of your turn. Target creature must have the toughest less than Stone Giant's power, or it's destroyed at the end of the turn. Uh, how in the world is this like barbarian dude, like giving anybody flying? I don't understand what he's doing. I don't know if he's like, throwing them into the air. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> All right, so a few more minutes here left. Oh, this card, uh, Orcish Oriflame. I've seen this card spike quite a bit. Alpha ones go for, I don't know, like 30, 40 bucks. Uh, these are all main condition, $6 beta cards, but I thought this was really nice because these are great for decks where uh, when you attack, all your attacking creatures gain plus one, plus zero. So it's not just red creatures. Um, like a gauntlet of might, but it's all attacking creatures. Um, it's only yours too, which is nice. And let's see what else we got here. That might be kind of cool. Um, yeah. Oh, this card. Yeah, I like this card. This is an interesting card, guys. Tranquility. Tranquility is one of the few enchantment wipes. All enchantments um, in play must be destroyed. So it has an incredible effect. Um, it's, a, it's you know, a utility sideboard, I think. I don't think this is a main deck card. Some people don't even use enchantments. I think creature removal is probably more effective. Um, but there are people that play Blood Moon, um, Energy Flux, that type of thing. That might be interesting to use. But um, I just love the image here by Doug Schuler. It's a very beautiful landscape. Kind of reminds me of the Yavimaya's Hollow. Um, obviously not with all the, the animals and stuff like that, but it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So, you know, I kind of like to do these videos once in a while to share with you what I purchased. Uh, lots of great variety here from Gabby's uh, Olympic Cards and Comics, I believe, in Lacey, Washington. Um, I'll have to do an LGS uh, World Tour review here later on, but... Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys like any of these cards? Do you think any of these cards will be playable in the future? Good old Circle Protection Blue. Um, you know, uh, if you guys are old school fans, put in the comments below what you guys are building for your decks. It's always exciting to see what else people are making, and I, I found you know old school very interesting. You know, like even though the format's been around forever, um, never changes. Uh, there's always all this variety and different fun factor things, nostalgic cards that people come out and bring out of the water and they cast them and you always laugh at it because it's like, man, I didn't think I would see that card ever again, you know, and the only format in the world that you can do that in is old school, you know, and uh, I think it really brings the rich history of magic to life. All right, guys, thanks again for watching this video. Hit subscribe. We appreciate your help. Talk soon.